Unrest in Haiti as the country declares a state of emergency. Several airlines, including American, JetBlue, have canceled flights to Haiti both today and tomorrow. Yeah, Haiti's government saying that two prisons were overrun by gang members over the weekend. Nearly 4,000 inmates are believed to have escaped. NBC 6's Amanda Placencia is live tonight with local reaction. Amanda. Yes, Trina, and after gang members orchestrated a violent prison break in Haiti over the weekend, the Haitian community here in South Florida, they're feeling the effects of that weekend's chaos. Prison doors were wide open and cells were empty after armed gangs stormed two prisons in Port-au-Prince over the weekend. About 3,700 inmates escaped and at least 12 people were killed. Unfortunately, what we saw this past weekend was Haiti getting worse. Whenever we think that we've seen Haiti at the lowest, something happens that is really sad that shows us that we're not quite there yet. Haitian advocate and immigration attorney Patricia Elise, who has family in the country, says its recent prison break reached a new level. We now have more criminals, more kidnappers out in the streets. People are scared. Family members are scared, terrified. Um, you have U.S. citizens and Haitians physically in the U.S. petrified as to what's happening to their families back at home. Haiti is currently under a state of emergency as authorities have ordered a nighttime curfew to try and regain control of the streets. The violence has also presented immigration challenges. In January of last year, the Biden administration included Haiti in a humanitarian parole program to reunite families. But there's been a lot of delays with cases still pending. Because of what's happening in Haiti, especially this past weekend, I really hope that the administration not only looks to prioritize humanitarian parole applications for Haitian families, especially those that have been pending for more than six months, um, it's really imperative that they try to adjudicate those. Gang leaders have taken over more than 80% of the capital as their aim is to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Henry has been traveling abroad trying to get support for a United Nations-backed security force to help stabilize the nation. The Haitian community should really rally and really push for a UN-backed security force to go to Haiti because we really need it. We need that force to come in to put to give people some type of hope. There's no hope right now. And the U.S. Embassy in Haiti has advised U.S. residents that are living in the country to leave the country. The, Haiti is also under a level four travel advisory. That is a do not travel advisory due to kidnapping 